hey everyone. You know, I was thinking, I've got my music on like I always do when I do my videos and the song just came on and um I was thinking how crazy it is life in general. Like have you ever sat back and thought if someone would have told you your life would be what it is today, a year ago, a week ago, six months ago, you would have never believed it. Yeah, that's the kind of couple of years I've had. So, we're going to move on before I come unglued. All right, so, there's a lot of stuff going on in the game. I don't know... Um, if they're trying to get a good feel, there's been a lot of complaint, complaining from the veterans, um, the veteran players. Let me re say that, um, veteran players, not veterans of, you know, our military, like legit veteran players of the game. I've been here for since day one, people like me, um, there's been a lot of, you know, it's become redundant a lot of people are getting bored they want new events they want new roadmaps they want new stuff and so I think that's why that they've been doing so many museum things um so because of that with the museum stuff I think they're just trying to really figure out I don't know a way to make everybody happy. Um, and there's a lot. Like I said, a lot. So, um, right now we have this going on. Of course, if you get three axes, you get the dinosaur and 30,000. And then you go to the dinosaur and you collect it and you keep going down. And comic books are here. And then you keep going and just, like, literally keep going down the ro low road. Until you get what character you're looking for. Now, this Pete Anderson is sweet as hell. Um, he really is. But you gotta pay for him. That's the only way that's gonna work. And this is what I just got. So, I already have him. Awesome. I actually just made him a six star. Of course, that's what I got. All right, but um, the one thing I saw in here is, here it is. This is awesome, and let me tell you why, is that they're doing this and giving us the balloon. So we've got this anniversary edition going on, and they've got three collections going on in the museum forum. And all of them, again, are 100 of these tokens once you hit, you know, a 1,000 of either one of those balloons. So when that happens... Um, that's when you get to come over here, complete this. Now, the stash ends in 27 days. There's 30 to open. I don't know how they're really going to work all of that. Um, if they're going to be giving them away more often and keep stepping it up and we're going to just have a ton of events, the calendar is packed. Like, we have numerous events all month long. They just updated it today. Like, it really is shocking. Um... So then you would get this Sergio guy, and he's really good. So that's definitely worth it. The other thing I noticed in here is this. Your weekly missions. You collect enough of these, just four of them, then you get your 15 comic books. Now, for those few people who, I guess... I guess it helps both sides. The people who got survive or got the Survivors Club Rewards Club monthly club or whatever it is, um, I'm one of them that got it and, and stopped it. And then I uh, we have a lot of people who have just started trying it, and then we have people who have kept with it the whole time. But you have to when you get these special characters like the six star Andrea and then there's a six star, I have no idea what her name is, but I have it. Um, you need comic books to level them. Now, if you stop using the Survivor's Road Club, this actually gives you the chance to finish leveling that character that you have that you didn't finish leveling because you quit your 
subscription. So I think that's actually kind of cool of them. I have one sitting here and I won't do anything because I'm not going back on the subscription. It's personally not my choice or personally not for me. And so I have... Where is she? Yes, I have a ton of characters. Here she is, Julie. Now, to upgrade her, I need 14 comic books, and I don't have them. And I'm not going to because I'm not going to redo it. So she's just been sitting there and just basically been wasted. Now that I'm able to do this collection every single week it will take me time don't get me wrong it's gonna take like a year if not longer to level her but i still got it and it's just for and it's free so if you go into your missions so you have your daily missions here right and these are always the same as well then you go into your events and your weekly missions are right here and then you just do what they tell you to do. And none of it is hard, complicated, or takes a lot of time at all. Then you collect your little Rick fingering, and once you get four of them, you get 15 magazines. Like I said, it's going to take time, but it will turn out to be... Well, you're doing it anyways, so it's just a double bonus to me. So I thought that was kind of cool when I, I finally am like... I've been doing it, obviously, but I hadn't seen what... I was collecting for, so I actually missed a week, maybe two. But anyway, so that is, I think, super cool of them all the way around. Um, and keep collecting them and keep doing it. Don't miss a week, and they'll add up quick. And then you can level that character that you have from trying it or whatever else that you haven't touched. Um, the other thing with, let's see, I think that was it, honestly. I wanted to go over the museum. Oh, yeah, the roadmap. All right, so the roadmap stuff has been, that was good to see, has been super crazy. This has been, like, the most, I don't know, non-active. We have seen the roadmap in weeks. So now we have just a special clubs member thing going on, and you need to have whatever pink basket that is. Does it tell us? No. No. Okay, and then you would go through, but you have to be part of the Survival Road Club members to use this. Now, honestly, this would be something I would seriously consider doing for the month, only because of what you're getting. I mean, look at what the rewards you're getting. Um, the requirements, there are none. There is no level that is ridiculous with the difficulty or X'd out, so meaning that you can't take any supplies in um, to help you beat it if you're struggling. Plus, you get these completion anniversary tokens, which again, you take over here to collect to get Sergio, who is pretty damn, pretty, damn good. He really is really good. Um, and so to have that, what the hell is on my radio now? So to have that happening, I would definitely consider it. Seeing that there's only a few hours left on it, I don't know if they'll redo it or not. More than likely they will um, and continue to redo the map over and over and over and over again. Um, okay. So definitely worth considering doing that for sure. And then, of course, this is where you would go down and you get your actual comic books. All right, so then we have Ascendance Medals going on, which I actually need to do for the first time. Red Flags, new, just popped up. Takes energy and you get Red Flags, either 1 or 20. Huh, that's crazy. And then black the same, and then other stuff. Um, yeah, I'd say it's worth it. I would definitely go for it. This has been kind of interesting. Not super hard. Um, haven't had any issues with it, but again, you're collecting the balloons. Then to take over to the museum. 
and then collect your 100 tokens to go and hopefully get that six star. All right, so I know there's a lot going in the museum. Just know that we've got the anniversary event going on. Um, that's a really big deal that you want to pay attention to. Watch the roadmap. That's where things are going to pop up that are going to, you know, be very temporary. Of course, you know, keep up with the events. At least, I would at least recommend that you do, like, I don't know, um, the level up. Let's go look at the rewards real quick. And I haven't done anything yet. So, balloons are all the way up until 1.4 million. Man, if you can put it up, put it up. Like, that's what I would do. I'd get every single balloon that you can at every single milestone that you can until you can't anymore. Um... And then, of course, you know, they've got the big announcement of the anniversary. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so it's our year four, which is crazy to me. I actually was thinking about it the other day and wondering how long it's been since we started playing this game. Because I've been playing this game with a few people, well, with a lot of Hawks since day one. Um, so I was definitely curious and thought it was about three, four years. But yeah, it has been four years. How insane is that? All right. So we are happy to announce that this week we'll be launching a new event to celebrate the four-year anniversary of Road of Survival. For the duration of the anniversary event, players will earn three types of collectible items. They are the red, orange, and blue balloons that I showed you in the museum. Um, and just like I said, they are going to be in roadmap rewards and then, of course, our tournaments. Um, it says that we started it on August 8th. They're going to end it on September 5th and then September 8th or when everything ends. Now, let me tell you, I have a few times burned myself by forgetting to go and collect the museum item or going and collecting, you know, off the wheel or whatever. Like I've legitimately done it more times than I can count. Um, so make sure you don't wait until the last minute. You really don't want to do that to yourself. You get uh, quite pissed off <laughs> when that happens. All right, so that's basically all that's going on. There's a big event with this anniversary going on. They're going to be putting a lot of work into that. And then, of course, this month's map is just nuts. Like, it is nonstop, double, triple events all month long. Um, this week seems to be all solo. Next week seems to be all faction. And then we're going to have cross-regional war next week as well. So, all right, that's about it, everybody. Um, I guess uh, please for, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Please subscribe. I'm so close to hitting that 1,000 mark. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, anything, please leave it below. I always get back to everybody. Um, <clears throat> I make that a point to always respond no matter, you know, it might be a couple of days, but I always, always, always respond. It's a big deal to me. So don't hesitate. Um, also, don't hesitate to share it. So, and if you have any ideas that you need a video on or you have questions or you want to see it done, or et cetera, et cetera, don't hesitate to do that either. I'm always looking for new ideas. All right, everybody, have a great week. I hope you had a good weekend and uh, keep on surviving.